So here's the thing. I got back to Raven Rock, and it said the five hours have expired. I am screwed. And I realized I should have just used uh, Amulet of Divine Intervention to travel to uh, the fort in the first place rather than the boat, no which wasted time. Theory. Hello, George, you here on assignment, or did you just stop by? What? That, that report takes priority over everything right now. George, make sure it gets delivered on time. You didn't make it? I trusted you, George. I can't allow you to remain employed if I can't count on you to get the job done. You're fired, and I probably will be before long, too. What do you mean, you've been fired? Don't put this shit on me. You saved this for the last goddamn minute, Falco. Jesus, it's not... You know they're fucking with us, right? You know they're messing with us. Well, it couldn't get worse. Could it? God damn it. All right. My last save is... Well... After it already failed, unfortunately, because I didn't realize it failed. Oh, God. All right. Mmm. Felsod Coast Region. So that's going to be back when I was talking to, uh... What's some faces? Back when I was talking to, uh... Oh, them about the stall room. All right. Well, let's give this quest another run, why don't we? All right, Falco. I magically went back in time to fix my mistakes. Hello, George. Are you here on assignment? Or did you just stop by? You forged an important bond here. George is clear to see why Carnius is so interested in this. Do what they've asked. Take them any more stall room you can find. Better that we gain control of it before Carnius does. Wonderful. Hello, George. Are you here on assignment, or did you just stop by? I have an urgent job for you, George. I hope you don't have anything else going on for the next five hours, because this needs to be taken care of immediately. This report needs to be handed into Carnius' in hands in five hours' time, and you're going to deliver it to me. Or deliver it to him. For you. I don't have any time to explain, just take it and get going. Head straight for his office at the fort. Don't waste time doing anything else. Now go. And the time is 7 a.m. Divine intervention? Because it's instantaneous, right? Oh boy, oh boy. And now it's just a matter of making sure that I get what did to I wherever to Carnius is in time. Alright, you gotta move. I know I'll have to use Divine Intervention, not Divine Intervention, I know I'll have to use, uh, what's it called? To, um, yeah. ensure that I don't stay Did burdened. You want something? Are you here to see Carnius? I'm afraid he's not in right now. Oh, and he'll be so disappointed that you were unable to deliver that report on time. You and your smug goddamn face. The factor had a good amount of business to attend today. I believe he's, uh... Out looking at prospective expansion sites today, somewhere on the eastern coast of the island. I think east of that big rock arch, you know? The one with the tomb at the base? Wait, that's a different location. Eastern coast of the island. So that's the coast I'm already on. Big rock arch, you know, with the tomb at the base. Alright, can I, like, avoid the trap? By any chance, can I, like, jump over this? Oh, damn it. All right, and so much for that. Oh, dear, did I forget to mention the little problem we've been having with that trap that we conveniently put in that carpet? I'm gonna kill you someday. Oh, I do hope that doesn't slow you down too much, but I'm afraid there's nothing more I can do for you. Excuse me, as I shove cucumbers up my ass because I am literally the biggest asshole in the world. I can fit 12 up there at once. Carnius loves it. It's like a goddamn carnival game. All right. It's fine. Everything's what fine. Did I do to deserve this honor? Everything's like fine. Restore attributes. And the thing is, it says I'm still burdened. Even though... Well, here's the thing. If I take off... Yeah, my agility's not decreased at all is the thing, so... Do I have anything that'll fortify my speed? Restore speed... Fortify strength. No, if I had like a... <laughs> if I had something that fortified speed, that would be great. Eastern coast... Stay as long as you like, friend. Arch... It would be a privilege to talk with you. Tomb. I'm trying to think where that is. What say you? I mean, the good news is it's still 7 a.m. I have just under five hours to find him still. I don't know how far up the eastern coast he's going to be is the thing. Oh man, oh man. This is stressful. This is still very, very stressful. Face 
Dad. Oh no. I'm not interested in you, I'm just looking for Carnius, <gasps> alright? Oh, and god damn it, Spriggan! Now's not the time for Spriggans! Now's not the time for anything! Oh, god damn it. I don't have time for you and your respawning bullshit, lady. That's right, one more time. Once more. With feeling. Okie dokes, gotta find a rock arch. Rock arch with a tomb at the base. I mean, I feel like a rock arch is gonna stand out as the thing, so... Maybe that'll help me out just a little bit. Oh! Oh, I think I found him! Oh, that's gotta be him, right? That's gotta be Carnius. Oh, and he's got a guard. What if this was all an elaborate ploy to get me out here? You chose Falco. Just so he could Fine. kill me. Just leaves more what for say me. You? What is it, underling? Well, I'm here on assignment. You chose to ally yourself with Falco, and then come to me expecting work. That's not what I meant. I meant that I have this goddamn report for you, you piece of shit. Hmm. Well, I must say, I'm surprised I didn't expect to see this report in time. Very well, underling. Let Falco know I received it. Yes, you delivered the report, underling. I'm very pissed about it still. How about I get, uh, some advancement? Which is not an option because I chose Falco over you. So I'm still just an underling after all of this. Oh man, oh man. What a jackass. What an absolute jackass. I mean, I guess this isn't any stretch. We already know that he's a murderer. We already know that he's a smuggler, a murderer, that... Ugh. He was hoping to get me fired. It's like, so this isn't really a stretch after all, but still... When it affects me, I get a little bit more upset. And this is one of those cases where it definitely affects me. But now that I'm not in a rush anymore, I can just take... Oh, my leisurely time back and take the boat to Raven Rock. I didn't realize I Falco you? was gonna fire me if I failed it. Like, that seems like a bit of an overreaction after everything I've done for him. It's like, you waited how long to deliver this goddamn report, and then you just dump it on me as soon as I'm like, Hey, you have anything for me? He's like, oh yes, by the way, I I, I just played around all day. I was just playing in well, the snow. Get worse. Good. Now there's only five hours left to turn this thing in. Oh, you're here? Good, it's your problem now. Hello, George, are you here on assignment, or did you just stop by? What? That report takes priority over everything right now, George. Make sure it gets delivered on time. Well, it did. You got it to him on time? Excellent, I'm sure. I was sure he created that deadline out of spite, never intending my report to get to him before it expired. You've done good work, George. You just bought us some more time. So you knew that he was screwing with us, and you still would have fired me if I failed. Which I definitely didn't in any alternate timelines at all. Well... Do you have any assignments for me? Now that the report is taken care of, we can move on to other things. Perhaps you've noticed the increase in Spriggans around here lately. I'm not sure what's going on, but they seem to be gravitating toward that cluster of trees at the east end of the colony. Unfortunately, future plans for expansion demand that we remove those trees. They seem to come in waves. I think there's at least one of them there now, and there will probably be more soon. When it looks like you've beaten them all back, find Unel... Lauren. Odds are he's in the bar. Alright, eastern side of the colony, cluster of trees. Cluster of trees doesn't really pinpoint anything down. It's like, well, it's tree goddamn city. Oh, there's the spriggan. Alright. Simple enough. That's right. Oh, you're, oh, you're gonna get up now, aren't you? There you go. Oh, I like how <laughs> her head... Her head spawned in after the rest of her was a little terrifying. Who just... Oh, that's a second Spriggan! Oh, and I thought it was just gonna be one at a time. You know, like... Like he said to expect. Oh, God. Oh, I am getting my ass kicked me. By some goddamn bark lemon. Alright, that's one. Oh, that's a lot more Spriggans than I expected. I mean... He did say they came in waves, but still. Alright, you gotta calm down, ma'am. Okay. Oh, I gotta heal up right goddamn now. Uh, let's see. Restore health. Boom. 
Okay. Okay. Can you not hit me uh, while I'm trying to let the potion do its goddamn magic? Critical damage. Ooh. I don't think I've ever gotten that before. I was not aiming at that spriggan. I hit the spriggan to the left. The one that I was not aiming at. Ugh. Your journal's been updated. Okay, thank God. We got the ripened belladonna berries, and I think that's all they really have on them anyway. Yeah, teal up. And I failed at casting the spell. And once more for good measure. Beautiful. Alright. Now onto the bar. I think I've uh I think I've earned myself a drink or two. Not that I should really go drinking right now. I should probably just focus on the Spriggans. Talking to Undel. So here at the bar. May uh, you find Unel. me worthy of your attention. Unel, not Undel. Unel, Lauren. Even though the Spriggans are gone, we still can't cut down this grove of trees. Some sort of magical heebie-jeebie. That'd be my guess. Either way, we can't start on the building orders until those trees are gone. Maybe if we could get at the roots or something. But we'd have to do that from underground. They've got to be way underground, too far down for us to dig. They're probably as tough as the trees themselves, so anyone that ran into them would know it. I'd ask the workers in the mine about it, but well, you know, it's dark down there. Are you scared of the dark? Are you really scared of the dark, sir? Nasty things. I A lot like trees, except normal trees don't try to kill you. Unless there's a big storm and a tree falls on you and then, you know, you're dead. I'm listening. Go ahead. Alright, so into the mine... And talk to the miners and be like, well, I know you're used to looking for ebony, but, uh, how about you mine me some trees? They're like, it's, it's not in our job description. It's like, you still get paid the same amount. These are still working hours. And they're gonna be like, I don't know if I should be talking to you. The last guy you talked to in the mines, uh, got killed. He was framed and killed by Carnius. I'm like, well, that's, that is a fair point, I suppose. I suppose you make a very good point. And then no one in the mine ever talks to me again. Hey, how you doing there? Please be friendly. His work is never done, friend. You're goddamn right. I don't have to guard that room anymore. Falco said so. You don't, you're right. We need to talk, however, about the trees. Or about the roots. Uh, roots, there we go. Roots, that TV show from forever ago? I loved it. We had a real problem with those roots. I had a whole passage in the mine blocked off by them, and we can't... And we just couldn't seem to hack through all of them. Decided it wasn't worth the effort, so we gave up on it. You can see for yourself, they're down at the bottom, off that northern passage. So can we just not get through them at all? Jesus. Northern passage. Oh, it sounds like it's all the way at the bottom of the mine. Am I gonna need to find some sort of, like, mystical, magical artifact that's capable of cutting trees? Or I guess these trees specifically? Because the first thing I think of is, uh, goddamn Nettlebane. Hello there! Hey! How are you? I'm good. Tell me about the roots. Are they this way? Yep, that whole chef was full of them, so we just left it alone. Too much work. Oh, god forbid that we do our job and then get paid for doing our job. Okay, well, this is the Northern Passage, but there was a little area with a door over there, so... If I had to guess, it's gonna be... in here. Abandoned Mineshaft, yep. That would be it. Your journal has been updated. I checked the passage and found the roots. I should let Unel Lorne know about them. Uh, the miners have mentioned that a cavern was filled in the mine... That a cavern was discovered in the mine that was filled with the tree roots too difficult to cut through, so they won't so they abandoned work on it at the bottom level of the mine in the passage to the north. I don't see the tree roots. Am I going crazy or Where are the tree roots? Like, that's a rock. These are all rocks and dirt, and that's some water, and the water doesn't go anywhere. Am I nuts? What roots? 
I'm so confused by this right now. All right, well, back to Unel. All right, Unel. I apparently found this the roots. One honors us. Please speak. Not that I could see them at all. Not much we can do about the grove of trees unless we can get at the roots, George. Really? That sounds like what I'm looking for. Can you take me to see them? Yeah, let's go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Lead on, George. Yeah, we're gonna get there, and he's gonna, he's gonna look around the cavern and be like, I'm "What? Listening. What Go roots ahead. are you talking about, George? Are you a dumbass?" I'm like, "Yeah, you know, on my best days I'm dumb. On my worst days I'm just <laughs> incapable of anything. And that's most days, just for your record." Oh, did he not follow me? God damn it! I don't know if he followed me. Oh, okay. I just went too fast for him. I'm sorry, Unel. I'm sorry. Oh god, you're very close to me. Listen, I know that we're co-workers, colleagues even, but no need to get that close to me. He's like, yes, there's always a need, no, no, no or George. I don't know what I was going to say there. I was going to say Nereverine, then I was going to say George, and I went with Norge. Ah, the Norge. The Nereverorge. God, you know I just do my little... My little voices for different races in the game. What if... What if I did that voice, like, depending on what, like, race I played every time I did a game? Like, when I play Morrowind and I'm doing... Well, you know, I play a Dark Elf. It's like, what if I just did my... Hey, I'm a Dark Elf voice the entire playthrough. That would be a hundred hours, approximately, because I have 103 hours in Morrowind. Um... But plenty of that's cut out, just if I can speaking be like this. God, my throat would hate me. It would probably commit suicide. Just my throat, though. Nothing else. Or if I played a Nord, I would be like, Hello there, it is me, Scaldir Big Toe. We gotta talk about personal space, buddy. Alright, here we go. Absolutely the roots. This sure looks like the place. These roots probably extend all the way up to those trees on the surface. Well, if this is the right place, maybe there's something I can do about it. If these roots are drinking from this pool of water, we can try poisoning the water to weaken them. If they're weakened, the trees might fall, but I'd need some bitter green petals. Can you get some for me? I'll need at least five of them. I doubt you'll find any on Solstheim, but you can probably dredge them up someplace more civilized. Great. I gotta leave the island? Whoop, I fell in. Yeah, what I was going to do is I was going to look up and be like, are there roots just like in the very tip top of the cavern that I just don't see? It's like, no, I I don't think so. <laughs> Bless you. Well, I guess we're going to go back to the mainland then. And by mainland, I mean Solstein, which is still not technically mainland because it's an island. It's just a bigger island. But hey. People from Vardenfell talk about Vardenfell as though it is the mainland. They're just wrong. All right, so I gotta I figure out. Any I gotta figure out who's gonna have that. I'm guessing an alchemist. I don't know if there's an alchemist back in Cool. Is the thing because that was the first place that I'm gonna be when I get back. I mean, there's enough travel options back in Vardenfell. Is the thing. All right. Well, I guess we're taking a little bit of a trip. Alright, we got one bitter green petal here in Cool at the trade house. Yeah, can I negotiate it down to three? He's probably gonna be like, what do you mean? You're not gonna pay me the full amount? I'm like, come on, let's just let's just haggle a little. Offers refused. Fine, four it is. I got cocky, I got greedy. What can I say? I haven't seen that before. Well, that's one down. I need four more still. So I'll take the silt strider one of the cities that hopefully has an alchemist. Knowing my luck, I'm not going to be able to find four at one shop. It's going to be like this, where it's like I just have to where go around like to go? and buy one at a time from just like each place that I go to. Let's try... Let's try, uh... Nisus. Nisus, 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 Nisus. I always forget how to say it. We make a special you know what I'm just for you. honestly Thank excited you. for? And it, it's not related to Morrowind, but it's related to, you know, just the Elder Scrolls in the grand scheme of things. 
I am very, very excited for... Okay, I don't think she has it. Uh, she does not. Oh, well. I'm very excited for the newest expansion for uh, the Elder Scrolls Online. ESO Somerset. I'm really got him excited for that, actually. When they announced it, I was like, oh, that's really cool. It's It seems like now they're actually going to make... Well, maybe not now, because they've been making expansions for a while, but it seems like now they're working on adding in... Hopefully all of Tamriel, just through the expansions and everything, which I'm perfectly fine with. Madoc Trade House, yeah, let's go over there. It's the thing of... Even if we see Somerset in a future Elder Scrolls game, there are things that we're going to miss out on because of just, like, the timeline of the Elder Scrolls main games. Uh, for example, if we see in Elder Scrolls game, like Elder Scrolls 6 or 7 take place in Somerset, we're what not going to you? see... Jesus Christ, staring at me right there, all right. We're not going to see... Um... Crystal like law, the crystal palace. Oh wait, no, I don't want to persuade him. Sorry, he's not the traitor. But it's uh it's one of the the towers of um of Tamriel of just the meta world or the metaphysics of the world. And it's been destroyed. It was destroyed during the Oblivion Crisis, so it's the thing of, oh man, we don't get to see it. It's one of those things where you only see it, quote-unquote, see it in the Elder Scrolls 1 arena. So we don't have an accurate modern-day description or depiction of it. God, he doesn't have anything. All right. It's unfortunate. So it'll be cool. We get to see all these, you know, historic things, all these things that were mentioned in all the previous Elder Scrolls games uh, just through ESO now, which I definitely like all right so there's nothing there's nothing here damn it all right i couldn't even find one in this town oh man unless this person right here might be uh a traitor as well they're not all right yes Outlander. well aldrun i know has a dedicated alchemist so aldrun it is oh oh and i have the uh the amulet of infectious charm so I might as well give that to the guy now, since, well, frankly, I don't want it. Frankly, I really don't want it, because it has all of these negative effects, and by all, I mean, yeah, it's... Weakness to common disease and drain fatigue. Yeah, no. It's not terrible, but I... I would rather just give it to him. It's got a value of 20. So it's not even worth selling to someone else. I must say... I find you most interesting right now. Please, go ahead. You say that because I have the amulet. George, you, you're here, and well, I mean, you've returned. What news? I found the records of the airship, but there were no survivors. I have recovered the captain's journal, which explains everything. I recovered the amulet of infectious charm as well. The airship crashed, smashed, was dashed into the mountain. Horrible, horrible, such a loss of time and money. Oh, yes. Yes, human life, too. Mustn't forget the crew. Uh, people, after all. Well, I am grateful. Grateful, really, that you've come to me with, um, with this information. And, uh, ah, incredible work with finding that is the recovery of, um, the Amulet of Infectious Charm. My, I really stutter a lot, don't I? I'm Louis Bouchamp. My thanks, George. Here, please take, have this, gold. 2,000 gold. Yeah, you know what? I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. Alright. Check the local map. So we have... Because I just always forget where everything is. We have... General Merchandise. Clothier. Smith. Bookseller. Pawnbroker. And then the actual... You know, um... Under Skull. Or Under Scar, where there's more traders as well. So I'll just take a look around. See who has what. See if I can find... The rest of the bitter green petals. So the thing is, everyone who has bitter green petals only seems to carry one of them. Oh, wait a second. No, I just remembered. 
Wait a second. Let me see if this works. And... Okay, no, never mind. Well, because sometimes you'll buy An honor to all of sure. a person's items. Leave, or, you know, buy it, leave their inventory, and then when you go to buy from them again, they'll have it again. But no, I guess everyone's scripted to only carry one for this quest, so I'm going around. And I've gone to three different places here. I went to the Mage's Guild, I went to the General Trader, and to the Alchemist. So I got three from Eldrun, plus the one from Cool. So I just need one more. So let's travel back to Balmora. And with any luck, I can get the last one that I need. Right here, please. Come on. And... That's gonna be a no. You're letting me down, Ajita. No. Nope. Welcome, friend. Don't, the day is yours. Don't, don't purr at me, please. And you, my friend, also have jack shit. Goddamn. But you know what? I will buy, uh, quality restore health off you, as well as some. Um, Restore health off of you as well, because I will need those. Well, there is an alchemist in Balmora, so with any luck, Greetings they will and have it. And, yeah, I didn't think she would have it, but I just wanted to give it a shot. Alright. Hopefully, 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 I can just get it on the alchemist here. Rather than having to run around to a thousand different other places. Just in hopes of finding a goddamn, just one more of these goddamn bitter green petals. Now, where's the goddamn alchemist? Alright, the alchemist was up in the upper city district, up near uh, the house... Is this Redoran? I forget. The house... No, this would be Hlalu, I guess. Yep, Hlalu. Uh, up in their sector. Please tell me you have it. Please tell me that you have it. Come on. Where is it? I need it. This is the last one I need. Do not mess with me, ma'am. And, of course, knowing my luck, she does not have it. Great. Absolutely great. That's everyone in Belmore, because I went to the other people before I came and found her. I went to my good friend Ravir. I went to the pawnbroker. That's everyone here in Balmora that would sell stuff. So, alright, so I'm gonna have to go, well, to another city. My best bet then is gonna be probably Vivek. Oh, it's the goddamn, it's the goddamn dreamer. Let's just stay away from him before he starts yelling at me. I just need one more. Bitter cream petals. God damn, why are you making this so hard for me? Alright, here we go. Bitter green petals, the last one that I need. Thank God. Just over Welcome in virtue, the uh the waste works for the foreign um not foreign, but the Oh yeah, foreign quarter. I was gonna say foreign canton, but I was like, wait, is that right? Foreign Quarter, Forter Canton, essentially the same thing. Oh, thank God. Alright. Now we'll head into the Mage's Guild, take the Guild Guide, or Go have ahead, the Guild please. Guide Tell me about yourself. take me to Aldrune. From Aldrune to Cool, from Cool to Solstheim, from Solstheim, well, from the dock at Greetings to the you. fort at Solstheim, to Raven Rock, and then there we go. How fair, oh, friend. thank God. <laughs> This has just been a whole circle of just looking for these goddamn petals. The only thing I'll say is that I am a little bit concerned about all this because... Killing the trees, like poisoning them and killing them, doesn't sound like necessarily the best idea. I feel like it could either drive the Spriggans away or piss them off more. And I don't really want to piss off the Spriggans even more. That sounds like a terrible, terrible idea. But I guess he's in charge of this uh, little operation, so he has a better idea than I do. Why didn't we just ask someone to bring the bitter green petals 
on the next, like, shipment to Raven Rock. I'm still wa waiting on those bitter green petals so I can take care of those roots. Do you have the petals? I do. Great, I'll take these and see what I can do. There's nothing more that you can do right now. Why don't you just let the boss know that things are taken care of? All right, don't mind if I do. Hey, maybe I'll have something new for me after all. You know, and hopefully something that won't get me fired if I mess it up even slightly. <laughs>